What's with the weird look? Where did you get that dress? Oh, it just appeared on my doorstep. I thought a friend dropped it off. It's okay. It must have been a mistake. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll go change right now and give it back. No need. You actually look very good in it. Keep it. <laughs> well, well, Alex. I see you finally decided to show off your lovely wife. Well, she's just my assistant. Oh, Lydia, was it? Have you ever played pool before? Unfortunately, no, I haven't. Really? <laughs> well, I could teach you. You bitch! How dare you treat me? Andrew, apologize. Apologize. <laughs> Alex, we've been working together for 10 years and he would side with an assistant. I didn't bring her here for you to leer at. She's not a call girl. She's my employee and I'm responsible for her safety. Apologize. I barely touched her, but this crazy bitch called the police. You turned on family? We're the only family you have. And you call the police? How, how could you? I didn't do anything. He tried to rape me. Apologize, or I'll end all cooperation with your company. Never thought he'd have a sense of justice. He's not all bad. Andrew, apologize. Lydia, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. <laughs> Get lost. Thank you, Alex. But you didn't need to do that. You're going to lose an important business partner. He bullied you right under my nose. And you want me to turn a blind eye? If I can't even protect my assistant, how can I run a company? I misjudged you before. You're a good man. A good man? It's the first I've heard that before. Interesting. Maybe the rumors about my wife aren't true either. I should probably investigate it myself. You're my assistant now. Stand your ground against harassment. Have some deterrence. Like this? <laughs> Alex, are you okay? Alex! Alex? Alex, what's wrong? He must be having a panic attack. I need to distract him. Alex, breathe. Breathe, I'm right here. Don't be afraid. Alex, look at me. You're gonna be okay. It's okay. Boss, you alright? I'm fine. Get her up first. That headphone trick was quick thinking. I used to be afraid of the dark too. Music always calmed me down, so I thought it might help you too. You handled it well. What's wrong with me? I didn't even want this job, but his words actually make me happy. By the way, I'm having dinner with my wife. I need help picking up some gifts. Okay, I'm on it. Who would think he's so caring? Hey, all right, a couple more steps. <laughs> right here. <gasps> Happy birthday! It's so perfect! You deserve it. It's too bad your husband isn't here. <laughs> that irresponsible guy. He's been missing for a year. If he showed up today and begged, I wouldn't even look at him. That's the spirit? <laughs> oh, crap, I forgot my camera in the car. I'll be right back. These are the gifts Lydia picked out. Nice. Good taste. Your wife's in room 1201. Her name's also Lydia. My wife and my assistant are both named Lydia. That's odd. Honey, did that party get upgraded tonight? Did you call for a stripper? Seriously? Do I look like a stripper to you? Oh, another man pursuing Lydia. Trust me, bro, you are not her type. You should just go. Who's Lydia to you? Who exactly you think she is. Disgusting. Bye now. Oh, Lydia! 
Some creep followed you here. It's a good thing you weren't around. Yeah, he was pretty handsome though. He looks a little bit like your boss, Alex. Wait, that man.